Events across the UK and the rest of Europe this weekend will commemorate the 70th anniversary of VE Day, the end of World War II on the continent. A two-minute silence will be held at London's Cenotaph on Friday to mark the moment Winston Churchill announced that the war with Germany was over. And on Friday evening, more than 200 beacons will be lit around the UK. There were street parties across the UK when Germany surrendered on May 8, 1945, bringing to a close six years of war. On that occasion, Buckingham Palace was lit up for the first time since 1939, and years of blackouts were broken with a giant V symbol projected into the sky above St. Paul's Cathedral. The Queen, who as Princess Elizabeth waved to the crowds on VE Day from the balcony of Buckingham Palace, alongside her parents King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, will attend a service of thanksgiving on Sunday at Westminster Abbey. After the service, veterans and serving members of the armed forces will parade along Whitehall, past the Treasury balcony from which Churchill delivered his historic address. As well as remembrance ceremonies, street parties and concerts will be held around the UK to recreate the spirit of celebration that defined the day. The biggest will be a concert at St. James's Park on Saturday, where musical acts including Pixie Lot and Status Quo will perform wartime songs and actors John Sim, Julia Sewell Ha and Lawrence Fox will give readings. The Royal British Legion, which has worked with the government to prepare the commemorations, will host a reception for 2,000 veterans at the park. Hundreds of smaller community events have been planned across the country after schools and local authorities were encouraged to take part. There will also be commemorations in other European and Commonwealth countries. In France, where VE Day is a national holiday, President François Hollande will lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. There will be a ceremony in Germany where President Joachim Gauck will lay a wreath at a cemetery for for Soviet soldiers. Russia, which lost more citizens to the war than any other nation, is holding a victory parade on Saturday in Moscow's Red Square. The UK. US and Germany have declined to send a representative in protest at Russia's actions in Ukraine. The Netherlands marked its own Liberation Day on Wednesday, paying special tribute to the Canadian forces that overcame the Nazis in the country.